guys welcome back to Dutify. so lately i've been talking about how i got a job offer as a ux and ui designer what i did different what i did what i do what to do how to land a job indeed stuff like that so make sure to watch my other videos but in this video i'm going to talk about how to handle an interview so basically it's you see that pattern overall the pattern that most businesses do they just mimic each other and you see that pattern throughout your interview process so you start seeing noticing that some require an assessment some require not assessment some require uh, some sort of challenge maybe whiteboard challenge or some other type of challenges it depends on the company so first initially you're going to get a call from a recruiter or the company itself from um, the hr and be asked questions about like your responsibilities, your duties, your skills, what you can do. They want to get a more feeling of what, who you are and what you could do. So make sure and to answer all those questions. And it's pretty laid back. Uh, it's not that hard of a call or interview process, the, the first initial call. So followed by that, if they really like you, they're going to move you forward to the next step, which is meeting other stakeholders, other developers, CEOs, executives, presidents, CEOs, I already said that. So if it's CEOs or presidents, it's usually because it's a smaller company and you actually get to meet them. So don't be intimidated or anything because they're just humans like you and us. So it's just don't be intimidated by them. So it's it's normal to meet them if it's a small company. So that's the, the second stage is where you get that assessment, you get that Testing. If you're a UX engineer designer, you get uh, the chance to show your skills through a mood board or storyboarding or whatever they want you to. So usually have that process in the second interview. And some actually some companies that I noticed is that they have a long interview process where it takes around like two, maybe three hours where you have to meet multiple people during that time. And then they ask you behavioral interview questions. And then they ask you more about your designs and just in general, get to know you more as a person, get to know more questions, get to ask more questions and get to know more you, get to see your, your duties. And if you're professionally enough and responsible to fill that job role. So that's that's the second in the second interview. And it just depends on the company if they want to see more of like of, of that information on you it just depends on the company some companies don't even do that some companies just go straight to the ceo the president and they just want to meet you right away and they want to see if you're a professional and if you could meet the job role again so make sure that you could reassure them that you can meet those duties responsibilities and that you're excited about the position make sure that you go over perhaps a design that will help them learn how you think and how you design as a UX and UI designer is another good way to get hired. So that's the interview process usually. And that was my experience while I was looking for a job as a UX and UI designer after graduating from Springboard. So another one is um, the, the final one. So the final step is getting feedback from the uh, the job so trying to get feedback is good because that way you could know what you did wrong and what you could do right the next time so it's really important because you get to get better at it through time and improve your communication skills the way you talk the way you, you present yourself it's really a good way to to have job feedback i mean interview feedback on the, the people that hired you so it's really really good to follow up uh, make sure that you say that you're really interested in the position and you want to have feedback. And sometimes, most of the time, companies do ghost you. They ignore you. They don't really want to really talk to you. It's it's kind of weird. It's kind of like, no, I don't think it's right for a lot of jobs to take a, a lot of your time. And then in the end, they don't respond or give you even feedback, you know? Like, I think that's the right thing to do. Just give feedback. The, the only time I got feedback was around like twice out of over 50 job interviews. So 
it's pretty crazy how the ratios is really, really low if a job were give you any feedback at all. So if you do hear back from a company, they would give you the job offer where they would say that they're interested in you and they'll give you the job offer. They'll know like they'll give you um, an answer right away that they're interested in you. So if a company doesn't give you a response right away, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not hired. It means that they're taking their time too. They might like not be rushed to hire someone right away at that moment. So just give it a little bit more time. Don't give it like maybe a week or two and then just move on. Don't stay stuck trying to be op optimistic about that company hiring you. Just move on and keep on searching and having more interviews because the more job offers you have, the better for you and the more options you have. So yeah, that's basically the, the job interview process throughout my experience and hopefully you find it useful and helpful for yourself and good luck on your your interviews and i wish you the best so for the next one subscribe to my video leave a like that'd be awesome peace out